T-Man 978 Chill Review. Hello everyone, it's me, T-Man978. Right now we're going to be taking a look at Marvel Legend. What is this thing called? Retro? I, I, I believe they're called Retro when they're on the card. It's Loki, Agent of Asgard. Here's the back of the packaging. Here's this bio, which kind of makes it sound like this is still the male Loki. Just He just wants to be a woman today. He, he's getting in tune with his feminine side and let's open it up so we can get in tune with it and here be loki out of the package and i just realized she is mostly a retool of the rogue body she even has the same boot piece right there and whatever shortcomings that figure has unfortunately which are quite a few <laughs> One being single jointed elbows and no neck hinge at all. But let's let you see the details. She has, or Loki has these little things going throughout the hair. Little decorations and rings and stuff. And the makeup on the face, look at that. And the detailed headdress that stays on there permanently because it's glued and whatnot and you got paint going throughout the fur right here so it's not just a clean plastic mold they did try to put some extra details in there you got the scales going throughout the suit like you would see in the comics she has more defined boobs unlike some of the newer figures the belt, let me just take this off right here so I can get the body on. The, uh, I'm not used to seeing this right here. She has bicep swivel while having single jointed elbows. I'm not used to that because you get the swivel down here. So, here's the back. The more round, fine booty on this mold right here. You get this belt piece that's not glued. And the scales stop right there. These are not glued, so they will fall down if you pull them a certain or if you mess with them or bump them while you're moving. But let's show you the articulation while the cape isn't on. Basically, the head just swivels. You can look down, but the hair is going to be bumping into the chest. It doesn't really look up, and I knew that was going to happen. But um, you get that. You get this right there, you get that right there. So, it kinda, it's about the same range, really. As you can tilt and whatnot right there. The shoulders go all the way out right here. Of course, swivel, 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 and bends less. It bends 90 degrees. The wrist go in and out like this. For whatever reason, they put a green peg in there instead of just making the hand one color. I, I don't know. This hand is loosey-goosey, by the way. The hips go out that far. Go back that much. Kick forward. And if you had thoughts that this isn't the rogue mold, look at that. All of them have that deformity right there. Every single one. Thigh swivel. The knee bends 90 degrees. Foot kicks all the way back. Can kick forward, but I saw it was like messing up the sculpt right there. Like right here, because maybe that's out too far. Then you get ankle pivot, and you get a pole at the bottom of the foot, but it doesn't want to stick on pegs that normally sticks to it. But this cape is fully sculpted right there. No peg hole or no peg because there's no peg hole so he does have marbling in, in the green plastic but the cape will just stay up on the shoulders really make sure you put the hair over it it won't even matter where you put that because the let's see she can turn still or Loki can still turn 
wow you, you have that cape on so that's cool I mean you can get this Loki into some dynamic poses I guess semi dynamic the head doesn't look up so it's almost a waste uh, in the package Loki which oh I, I see why they look at that now I see why they kept this green but they didn't commit you see how that's painted right there but the hands aren't the fists aren't painted on the back so wow they cheaped out right there let me know if your hands are like that because I'm shocked both hands are like this so now I see why they have that green pig but these hands are very gummy soft and huge being evidence that this is a shape-shifting dude but let's get these back up stand her up and get you know forget all that I was gonna try to straight up stand her up but as you can see she's slightly taller than this male mold and Sylvie who is also a Loki they are looking well she's taller than Sylvie and Sylvie I haven't reviewed Sylvie yet Sylvie is a cool figure and that face is awesome. I like the way it just looks like she's just looking at her intently. But anyway, there you go. Um, I like it. I definitely like the design. Uh, the fists are nice to have. I always complain about needing different hands. So it would have been interesting if they had like some type of effect in there, which would have been cool. But the fists are cool, except that one that's swiveling around in the socket and the fact that they didn't paint the back of that. But I would say if you really like this design, because it did look great inside of the packaging, don't open it. <laughs> Unless you just want this Loki just sitting on the shelf not doing much. I mean, the legs are posable. And Loki is a trickster. Maybe Loki could be pretending Loki is flying. So, you can do that at least. Using illusions and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, so it is posable. But it's not the most dynamic. Not having that much ab crunch. And definitely the, the neck articulation kills what it does have. So, there you are with that. Thank you for watching this. Until next time, T-Man978, out of here. Link in the description for where you can get this on Amazon if it's still available. Figure action. That one's me. Join the Syndicate Toy Hunters Facebook group. Link in the description. Click, click the videos. Click the f***ing videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You should really click the